Hello, this is the Obby Model Maniac, and today I am unboxing a Trumpeter model boat. This is the 1 of 350 scale World War II Liberty ship, SS Jeremiah O'Brien. I haven't read much history on this boat. Um, usually when I buy a model, I do a bit of research on it. Um, I have two of these uh, for both dioramas. This one was used in D-Day and it's basically a merchant ship and over World War II and everything a lot of ships would have been put into the war in fact nearly all of them were put into the war for um, you know helping out with the battles and everything and transporting stuff and I believe this is a troop this was to carry the troops to D-Day um, but yeah what we're going to do is unbox it one nice thing about this kit is the uh, painting of the ship on the front. It's really nice. I will be doing it in the same colours as shown on the side here. And yeah, it looks really nice. It's got some deck guns as well. Um, I haven't looked up, like I said, any info on this ship. Um, but I will. By the, by the time the ship's finished, I would... I will know more or less everything about it. So let's open it up. Like I said, I got two of these, both for dioramas. This one is going to be the first diorama. There we go. Move that to the side. And straight away, we have the manual, which is nice. Uh, let's see what we got. I haven't built a ship for many years. And the only ones I've built are very small. So there's our pieces, our parts. We got two hulls, which is good. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, there we go. Should be pretty much an easy build. There are a few parts, small parts and that, which I prefer. Um, I like doing the smaller parts more so than the big stuff because that's the detail you're adding. And it really brings the model to life. Um, I'm going to be building this complete and then working on it because the diorama it's going in is going to be very special and I'll explain a bit more in a minute when I show you the hull but there we go that's the bridge and everything it looks very nice some details there as well that looks like the um, I think that's the rafts they get pushed into the water. Yeah, you can see it here. In fact, so that's good. And we got the paint. What colours to paint it on the back? Um, looking forward to that because I've never actually painted a um, one of these boats. The ones I built years ago, I never painted. So what do we have? Well, the first part. This. This is the top part of the ship. Or the hull, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you've got your bow and stern. I can't remember which way is um, starboard. But, yeah. <laughs> and then in here, we have our actual hull pieces. So, you have a flat hull. And that allows you to place it down our diorama and build the sea around it. That's what I'm going to be doing with the second one I have. With this one... I'm going to be using the full hull and they give you the full hull so you can um, put it on a stand and have it on display or you know using other dioramas I'm going to be using it in a diorama for a really nice um, scene trying to set a really nice scene um, I'm not going to say no more on that because I'm not 100% sure it will work straight away but I never give up on stuff so I'm sure it will work over time but yeah look forward to that uh, we'll put that back in that for now it's going to be a nice diorama. We have some decals, stickers there. Quite nice. Um, looking at them closely, they look like small paintings, which the, you know, the military and that, the army, they would have done that on some of the stuff on the ship. There we go. So we have our bow and stern pieces here and the floor for the middle where the cab will go on. The bridge and everything. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. Uh, 
and then more on the other side as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm not going to be rushing into it and building all of it because, like I said, it's going to a very special kind of diorama. Um, but I'm going to get as much as it, of it done as possible. Uh, I won't be adding all the small detail parts now. I just want to get the hull and everything done straight away so I can start planning. Um, it's always good to have some of the plan with and as soon as I get that built up, I should have some plans. But yeah, more parts there. I see some lifeboats and lifeboats there. We got a little rafts in there, which is these here, uh, which come down the side of the ship. Um, these little rafts here. I don't know, is there any pictures? Oh, that's a good shot actually on the top. So that's the top. So you got four lifeboats. Um, a gun at the front and a gun at the back. Guns on the side. And at the back here as well. Um, so yeah, that's very nice. Um, yeah, one chimney, which is... Yeah, that's right. One funnel. Like the luggage hanging there. I think that's nice. Um, an anchor, quite rusty. This ship's going to be heavily weathered. Um, that's for sure. So that's all the parts you get with this lovely ship. Like I said, I have two of them. The other one is still at the shop. Um, I'll, pick it up. I'll pick it up this week, hopefully. I want two of them here straight away, just so I can do some planning. But yeah, there we go. It's a very nice kit. I've seen some very nice uh, ones of these built up on YouTube and Facebook. And yeah. We'll see how we go. I will do updates on it, of course. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I shall see you all soon. Bye for now.